Welcome to the Forever Dunkin' Book Signing. It's Char Gates Anderson. We're on the red carpet tonight for the ladies and the gentlemen. Two books here tonight that we're going to be talking about with Sherelle and Alfred Dunkin'. Y'all know the story. Proposed and married and all in the same day. So you all know when a man knows he's ready, he's ready. Stay tuned for all the red carpet interviews and we got a hot panel discussion coming up. Congratulations, Alfred and Sherelle. We're super excited for you. Definitely looking forward to getting into this book and finding out what you guys have to say. And we know that God has something great for you ahead. I am super, super excited about this book. God made me wait. Like, this is amazing. I'm, I'm just so glad to be a part of the celebration. And The panel's going to be interesting. I mean, from the marriages or the relationships that are on the panel, folks that are on the panel, I'm interested to see from the younger couples who haven't been together very long to those who are a little bit more seasoned what the conversation is going to be. It's been 14 years for us on Christmas Day. That's 14 it. years. That's it. That's it. it. No, this is 14 right. years. <laughs> And we produced the event. They took over the after party situation. And I how was it putting the book together and everything was, you did to make it happen? It was so much fun. Like, first of all, congratulations, Sherelle and Alfred. They're my good friends. And since day one, once they got married, it's just been a roller coaster. We just said we're publishing books on December 10th. They're coming out December 10th. So I gave the authors one month to write. And I happen to be a co-author with Sherelle, and then um, Man of Lifting is Alfred Duncan and his best man, Vic. And we wrote the books in a month, and we published them, and now we're here. And props to you for doing it just so right. Congratulations. Thank you. So, how's the journey been so far? It's been crazy. It's been absolutely crazy. I feel like um, we haven't really... Like, I guess, you know, everybody talks about being married and after we haven't experienced that we treat because it's just been a whirlwind ever since the last year. It's been insane. So, so what are you looking forward to? To be honest, we, we kind of hope that the, well, not hope, we're working hard so that the dust doesn't settle. You, you got that. You know, we're that. trying to uh, build this, this brand and, you know, We've been inspiring and encouraging people when it gives us a platform and now speak about the things that we were speaking about even before the notoriety. So, yeah, it's just a beautiful thing. We still have time to ourselves. That's yeah. important. We make that. Y'all heard, heard that. We right? make that. <laughs> a lot of time. So, so, give some advice to the gentlemen out there that are, you know, maybe on the fence about getting married and things like that. What advice would you give the gentlemen? And I'm going to ask you something. Hey. Okay. Um, the first thing I would say is, if you don't have a relationship with God, build that. Um, I know with my husband, his he built his relationship with God before he was even ready to commit to me fully. Um, so once he built his relationship with God, just continue to pray and then listen to the woman who you feel like is going to be your wife, who, who God has uh, sent to you. I definitely think that women need to focus a lot on themselves. And, and, and making sure that they're right with who they are for, you know, starting a relationship. And that's man and woman. You know, I think it's very important to work on yourself. I think for us, it's always good to just, you know, listen to other couples who've been married, whether it's, you know, for a shorter period of time or even more than us, just to, you know, hear about other relationships. We always learn it from somebody else as well. Just make sure that the person that you have, you can be her friend, you can be her friend as well as, you know, and just your girl, you know, just have that friendship relationship and it lasts, make the relationship last. It makes it last. This is still my boy, my buddy. Girl, I know that's so, right. I am a tomboy for real. Yeah, that's, and that's your good girlfriend. Yeah. Right. That's, no, it, no, it has no, to be that. Girl, right? <laughs> Reverend Duncan was everywhere. I'm sure you all heard the story. Proposed, married in the same day. So Natasha brought it all together for you guys. So check out the books, foreverduncan.com, right? Yes, foreverduncan.com. Are you ready for tonight? I am so ready and super excited. We are going to be reading part of our book. If you are looking for a fairy tale story about the Forever Dunkin' wedding, this is not it. These books are journeys that led to Forever Dunkin'. Who Sherelle was as Sherelle, Sherella LaBella, as some people know her, and Black, who he was as Black of Mumbo Sauce, and the, the, the man, the community leader, the father. And so these books really are different. For women, God uplifting, God uplifting, God made me wait. We really just get very real and transparent. And we talk about all the toxic issues that hold women back. 
so from toxic relationships, domestic violence, health issues, weight issues, just being insane, and then finally surrendering to God. Yes. And then that's what, where we get the God made you So for Sherelle, God made her wait for, of course, her marriage, you know, her fairy tale wedding. And for me, God made me wait for perfect until I was ready, until I surrendered to him. And so that's what this book is about. And it has a devotion, a 14-day devotional and journal. And so this book is will help women transform their lives. Now this book that the guys wrote is so felt. amazing. <laughs> this is actually challenging today's popular culture. All the things that men and women are spoon-fed about society. Um, you know, things like, you know, bros before, um, certain things like that, that this generation today has been lied to about. And so Vic and Alfred really tell, talk about how, what is a real man? And as a man, how can you uplift your community? And so they challenge those stereotypes. They challenge the, the popular thinking, the things that we see on television, in um, rap videos, all that is, is what this book is really making us confront. Thank you. Where can they follow you, website, all of that? Oh yeah, Forever Young is uh, foreverdoctor.com. You can also go to what, Instagram, Sherelle the Trainer, Alpha the MC, but all of the links and stuff is on foreverdoctor.com. I've been trying to write a book for a very long time. Okay. Um, but what made it very easy is that I felt like I was writing a book on my own, right? So but I remember us when we created the outline for the book, we were standing in lines um, at, a, at a store just kind of thinking about what we wanted to talk about. Okay. And a lot of what we do, um, when he talked about misconceptions, but a lot of our growth as men, I felt like we did that together. So in that 10, 11 years, you know, our, and that little bit of it is in the book. Um, the things that you learn in our travels through manhood a lot is men in our conversation with one another. Um, pushing each other to be better, pushing each other to be great, pushing each other through kind of trying times. And I think a lot of that came out with uh, So that was easy because I felt like it was, it's my man, it's my home. Congratulations, young man. The wonderful event came out to hear your story and hear some of, uh, some of your other friends' stories as well. So uh, we look forward to hearing um, more of what you have to say. You all look forward because you look happy and that's important. And thank you for the inspiration. We definitely appreciate it. Thank you. Hey y'all, hey y'all, it's your girl Sherelle Duncan, one half of Forever Duncan. We want to say thank you so much for tuning in to Forever Duncan Radio each and every Thursday from 12 to 2. If you can't tune in while we're live, you can also subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, tune in. We on everything. We not playing no games. We want this message to get out there to y'all. Make sure you subscribe right now. Also, if you haven't picked up your copy of God Made Me Wait by myself and Natasha T. Brown or Man Uplifting by my beautifully created husband and his friend, Victorious Hall, go to foreverduncan.com forward slash books and cop that, cop that, cop that now. Cop that, cop that, cop that now. <laughs> Thank you all for your support. We hope that you have a great and wonderful, prosperous life and see ya. Uh, 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 uh.